Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about a feature called Just-in-Time BMXs which was introduced in Yeshua uh, recently. So this, this new feature allows, um, allows you to uh, expose your virtual machines in Azure only when it's required. So if let's say if you want to access a VM then you can request access to the VM and then you will get access to the VM in the internet for a, for a limited time of, with limited number of time. So which means it, it will revoke the access in another maybe couple of couple of hours or three hours or whatever the numbers that you define. Um, so this, this new feature is actually called just-in-time VM access and actually it, it reduces the uh, brute force attack surface for, for hackers because uh, especially when it comes to Azure, you enable your um, your management management calls to the public uh, internet. So it is really important that you protect them and take precautions before things before the, someone actually successfully brute force attack uh, your your virtual machine. So yeah, let's let's have a look at uh, this new feature, and uh, it's actually uh, it's actually available in the security center. So if you haven't still seen the, the new feature, it's, it will, if you go to the security center there and you will see at the bottom uh, there's something new called Just-in-Time BM Access and you will have this new, nice little dashboard showing you as well. So let's actually go and configure one of them and then let's experience how it's looking like. So if you click on that and if you go to actually recommend it, uh, you will see the number of VMs that you can enable just in time VM access. So for, for you to enable a VM uh, with just in time VM access, so there sh you should have a few things to be um, to be ticked. So one of them is that you need to have first of all you need to have your Azure Security Center in the standard pricing tier. Yeah, this is not a feature that's available in the free tier. Um, and also you need to have a network security group directly attached to the virtual machine. So um, if, if, yeah, obviously you need to have a public IP assigned into your VM and also your VM needs to be yeah, in, in our model. Um, so what, if you satisfy all those VMs, then your VM will be qualified for just-in-time access um, and then you can take that via VM, whatever the VM you want, and then enable JIT um, on the VM. So when you click enable, it will suggest some um, some rules, and then if you want add, if you want to add more rules, and if you want to open uh, more ports, then you can add them, and then you can click save, um, which is going to go default on this one. So once you click save, uh, that what what it will do is it will it will actually control the access to the VM using the SG. So this once you click save, it will create some custom or automated rules onto your same NSG that is directly attached to the VM. So uh, to explain you how how it does the work, so I'll, I'll quickly go into the VM and then I'll sh quickly show you how how it's actually. Um, doing the rules on the NSG. So let's go to the mix directly attached to the VM and then let's have a look at the network security group that is um, attached to that NIC. So if you go in there then you will see some 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 rules being automatically added um, as part of the JIT. So you can see security center JIT rule with a quit and etc. So these are the rules that's um, that's actually been added as part of the JIT's uh, JIT enablement. So um, as a, so now what you can do is um, so now the rules have been applied. Now you can um, you can as another user you can request access to this um, this VM. So I'm a little bit. Um, I'm a little bit confused because you cannot when you enable your VM with um, with JIT, you can't see anything on your on the VM itself. You can't uh, you can't still see if, if that VM is um, enabled with JIT or not. Unfortunately, you need, to go, you need to go to the security center to see because you can go connect and then you will realize that you cannot connect. Um, actually, I'll go there. And then I'll show you how the um, how it works. So currently it's been all blocked, and you will not be able to add it to VM. Um, so now, if, if you go and request access, then you will you will see. But the, like I said, it's, you don't see that uh, that's 
that's actually legit blocking the system until you actually go into the security center and see how many VMs are connected in, in just in time. So let's let's go to the JIT and do a request um, for the VM access. Then uh, that will actually let's see how it how it's looking like. So you can see you can select the VM and then click request access, and then it will tell that um, um, okay. It, it, first, I need to select what rules needs to be open. So I'll just say I want it for three hours, and then. Um, I just yeah I just click enable and then it will go and say yes one request and it's active now and that rule has been activated. So now if I go to the um, VM and then if I try to connect to the VM then um, I will be able to actually connect to it. Let's have a look um, again and then I'll show you the rules uh, that has been changed afterwards. So. Yep, now I can connect to the VM without any issues. I'm not going to connect in because, um, yeah, because um, I don't want to, and I can see that the port is open now. It's prompted with the password. So now, now let's go and have a look at the NSG again. And if you look at the NSG, now you can see port uh, 3389 role is now allowed. And what will happen is after after three hours, this will, this rule will get denied or will be disabled automatically. So that's that's how just in time access works, and it's it's a really nice feature. And um, if you have if you have like management um, servers that you wanna do um, enable just in time, it is highly recommended, and uh, it's it's a it's an easier way to achieve uh, remote uh, remote access through the through the internet as well. So that's pretty much it what I wanted to show you today and thank you very much for watching this video and hope you enjoyed.